We are going to dive into the next testimony, and she's actually with us. So we shared her testimony through video, and today she was visiting with her family at our church service. So let's give her a warm welcome, hear from her, and why she's here. So come on, give her a hand of applause as she comes on up. We want to say thank you so much for coming up here. And uh, can you just please uh, start with telling us your name and where you're from? Yes, my name is Cassia, and I'm from the Seattle area. And Cassia, can you tell us the testimony first off, uh, what happened? We shared it a couple of weeks ago. Uh, Tell us what happened there. Interestingly enough, I actually have two testimonies. The first one, I'm going to speak quick, um, was probably seven years ago, back when I lived in Sacramento. Pastor Vlad came down to my church, Revival Christian Center, and we had a youth conference, and there was a prayer for healing, and I had an issue with my hand for many, many years, and I went to doctors for it. I received treatments. Nothing ever helped, and there was a prayer, and right after that service, my hand was healed, and I never, ever had an issue with it again so praise God for that and then the second thing was uh, during quarantine my husband started watching Hungry Gen um, services online and I joined him and then there was a prayer for healing again and um, Pastor Ilya was praying for um, healing so they said somebody has back pain I'm like oh that's me okay so I d- I just um, accepted it with faith I was just like okay why not I'm gonna pray and I prayed with the church and I received healing of my back and then um, this this was late at night. The next morning I woke up. I have not had that pain ever since. So praise God. And I just want to say that, yes, you can definitely be healed at a youth conference, at a church service, in person. But definitely, even as Mariana says and as the church says, distance is not a barrier. You can definitely receive pray, um, healing online. So praise God. Come on. Amen. Well, I didn't have to ask her what's her advice. That, that was great in itself. Tell us also, uh, you came to, uh, to visit. What is the next step for you and your beautiful family? You know, with this quarantine, with all of the uncertainties that occurred, of course, lots of things were bad, but I personally see a lot of good that came out of this situation. For example, a lot of our lives have been put on hold. So much discouragement, so many disappointments, but I personally have seen a good um, thing come out of this. If it wasn't for the quarantine, we probably wouldn't have restarted watching the Hungry Gen services again. And uh, my family and I, we actually made a decision to move to the Tri-Cities in the fall, and we're so excited to be a part of this church in person, and I've already joined. (laughs) Thank you. I've joined Julie's Life Group, and that has been such a blessing in my life. Never before in my life have I actually read the Bible that often, and that has been a big blessing in my life, so thank you, Hungry Jen. Thank you, everybody. Thank you so much. It was so nice officially meeting you. Thank you so much. Welcome to the family. Um, She is just a complete, full of bliss and just happiness and just extremely contagious the way she smiles. So we are so blessed by you. Thank you so much for sharing. And uh, again, her advice and our encouragement is that any time that there's prayer that is occurring, it is, again, not to fill that time. It's not just so that we can pray to pray, but it is to intercede for you to receive that portion, that promise, as Jesus Christ said in John 10, he came so he can give us a life of abundance, more than enough, amen? Not just to live by, not just to have just just to live by for the week, but to have more than enough, to have those limitations broken down, amen? So everyone that is watching on live stream, those that are here today, is to just uh, join us as we pray and believe for your testimony, amen?